Welcome children. Today through this video we are going to study about the parts of a seed. Now what is a seed? A seed is a tiny life support package which gives rise to a new plant. If you cut an apple or an orange, you will find seeds inside. New plants grow from these seeds. Now what are the different parts of a seed? A seed consists of mainly three parts the outer hard seed coat which protects the baby plant inside for further uh, studying the parts you'll have to open the seed when we open the seed two fleshy structures are found these are seed leaves or cotyledons the seed leaves or the cotyledons store food for the growing baby plant when the baby plant grows big it takes up food from the, these cotyledons. Then the third and the most important part is the baby plant itself. This is the embryo or the baby plant. Okay. Now, here I have few seeds sowed so that we can open it up and study the inside structure. Because when the seed is dry, it's very difficult to open it up. So here I have a rajma or a kidney bean seed a groundnut seed and a gram seed or chana seed. We can see there is this opening here. Can you see this, this white structure? Here you can see a hole is there. Here. And here also you can see there is a hole. This is called micropyle. The seed absorbs water or soak up water through this micro, micropyle when we soak it. Now here I have a rajma seed this this is the first part or the seed coat here we can see the brown part seed coat now it has become soft so we can open it easily okay this is the seed coat you can see how easily i can open it up i split it into two you see now I have opened it up. So here, these are the cotyledons which store food for the plant. So the first part of the plant was this outside cover or the seed coat which protects the baby plant inside. The second part is are these cotyledons which store food for the baby plant. And the third part is this baby plant. You can see it here. see here yeah. because it is white in color it's not very easily visible i have taken this out see this is the baby plant i've kept it like this so that you can compare this part is called the plimule here this is the plimule this is the baby shoot. At later stage, this is going to go upwards and form the shoot system for the plant. And this part you can see here, this one is the radical or the baby root. This will go in the soil and form the root system at the later stage. So children, you understood the three parts of a seed here. The outermost part is the seed cover, seed coat, which protects the baby plant. Then here are the cotyledons which store food for the plant. And the third is the baby plant or the embryo, which will form the plant at the later stage. Let me show you the same structure in gram seed also. Here I will open the gram seed. Can you see? Same structures are visible here. The outermost is the seed coat. Here I have removed the seed coat. Then comes the cotyledons. The, the two cotyledons. Okay. And then is the baby plant. You can see this is baby plant here. Okay. 
here is the baby plant similarly this is a groundnut seed when I remove the seed coat this is the seed coat I am removing and when I split it into two you can see the structures inside okay these are the two cotyledons and here is the baby plant you can see it's so clearly visible here this is the baby plant this one so children here you can see there are two cotyledons in these seeds so such seeds which have two cotyledons like gram groundnut kidney bean or rajma, badam, peas, other beans. These are called dicotyledonous seeds or dicot seeds. On the other hand, if we see seeds like wheat, rice, maize, if we open the seed coat, there will be only one cotyledon inside. Such kinds of seeds are called monocotyledon seeds. I hope you understand the parts of seed now. Thank you for watching.